Ruby, Volume 7, Chapter 6, A Night Off. Start a little further back because I realized I forgot to bring up anything about the Winter Maiden, so that's uh, pretty cool to check out. Winter could be the next Winter Maiden. I'm somewhat convinced it was because of her name, but like, at least that had to play a part of it. You know, Iron was like, what's your name, Winter? Ooh, I see an opportunity. Of course, she probably earned it legitimately on that jazz. She had earned a trust and all that jazz, but you know there was at least a one to one, one to one, you know? Although Riotine and Mantle is finally under control, how does it feel to know that the elections already were your supporters? I don't condone rioting, especially when our city is being denied aid for the hardships we've already had to go through. Right, so but on. Jacques Schnee's latest stunt is holding the that we're going to say his own political game. I thought that the so election was going to be later. But ask season. that they show it not in the streets, but at the polls today. Nice. Ooh. Work smarter, not harder. Okay. Recovery's getting faster. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> Have you always been able to do that? I don't know. I don't normally think it through that much. You guys are evolving, and I still don't even have my semblance. Well, I bet we'll all be jealous when we do. Clover wasn't kidding. You're really giving this your all. Well, we have to with the way things are going. They're not going well, are they? Better Robin than Jock Schnee. Yeah, I suppose so. Either way, this election doesn't bode well for our stability. It could be a chance to work with Robin and get Mantle on your side. The Maybe. likelihood of that likely. working. She's right. You have to do something about Mantle. If you could get Robin to trust you. I bet if you opened up to her, she'd understand that you're being framed. <sighs> Perhaps. Or it could be back. It will only work if she's open too. I take it you're here for new mission assignments. You could say that. The general and I want you to take the rest of the day to recuperate. Day off? You're giving us a night off? Ordering it. After tonight's election, we'll be waking up to a very different atlas tomorrow. Yeah, that'd be I helpful. need you rested and ready for whatever that may bring. Ruby was already falling asleep in the last episode, so she could probably use this. There's no way my father could have thought layoffs would do anything but hurt him. So why announce this the day before the election? Just seems like a power play that backfired to me. Won't matter in a few hours, though. Where are you guys going? Team Funky invited us out dancing. Yang and I thought it would be good to get our minds off the election. I thought you said Team Funky was annoying. That's the best part about dance clubs. I can't hear you. <laughs> Ruby, come on! I still can't believe you're going to that thing. Just because Ironwood dislikes Robin doesn't mean we all have to. From where I'm standing, both of them seem to be trying their best to help Atlas. As to who's doing a better job. <sighs> but a victory party? Invite's still open if you want in. Penny's gonna be working security. I wouldn't be doing a victory party just yet. Oh my gosh, no. You gotta do it like this. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> They're gonna start moonwalking. Hey, I swear. The movies, if anyone wants yep. Oh, okay. <laughs> Get me out of here. Hey, wait! Jean's finally getting his date with Vice. I mean, he's gotta bring Oz with him, but you know, we break a few eggs to make an omelet. Have one sure thing. Probably the last sure thing before Amity Tower goes up and everyone learns about what we're fighting. Never celebrate a victory before you actually won. But have any of us considered how we're even going to beat her if we manage to work past that? Jin said she can't be beaten. She told Oz that he couldn't destroy her. But maybe someone else could? Watch the third I party can and come out of nowhere for their archaic we competition. Right now. We've trained enough. Take some time to. We don't have time. This is a stressful situation. <laughs> Ruby, Nora, friends. Hey, Penny. I am so glad you made it. 
staying here to keep the peace. So more friends means more Arrow. fun. Where are the others? Weiss is out with the boys, and Blake and Yang are off doing their own thing. Again. As for usual. Back to being friends. Friends, huh? With Death benefits. Friends. What else? <laughs> ben there, Ruby. Ben there. That much? I think there's more going on. Well, maybe one of them feels that way, but the other might be worried. About what? It's just. I believe I may be confused. Who are we talking about again? I'm not really sure. Danny, where'd you this go? is a friendship. <gasps> Please don't leave me. <laughs> oh, oh, right, hey, this guy. What, what are you doing here? Just uh, hanging out with a friend while she's on the job. <laughs> yeah, real cute. Look. Try not to be too much of a distraction. We need to be vigilant in case... In case what? Oh, boy. In case someone tries to start trouble. Oh, funny. That's why we're here. So feel free to take a hike. Listen, the general's hey. trying to help, all right? Just because you can't understand... What's going on here, Wax? Oh, and the pipsqueak is back. <sighs> we're concerned about security risks. I want to say pipsqueak. Wait till Man. volume nine. The general doesn't want any surprises tonight. Fine, but stay out of the way. If I get elected tonight, we'll all have to learn how to get along. Your voting is going down. Sure, we won't have any problems, as long as you stay within the law. The law isn't perfect, you know. It's certainly not equal. Trust me. Welcome to laws, honey. That's how oh, this works. That all the citizens of Mantle and Atlas and Faunus have an equal shot at a good life. That sounds great. And you're planning to do all that equalizing legally, right? Oh, your vote went back I've up. Everything I've done is legal. Of course. Just not ethical. One hundred percent. Ooh. <laughs> well, that worked. And it's down again. Mm. Scram, kid. We've got a job to do. You can't have a victory speech before you've actually won! They're still going at it? Just right now. I should have just gone to the movies. Just fuck already! Going to the polls today. This is Mantle's moment. I know that like me, you're all thrilled that we chose Robin as our in Atlas. No one has fought harder for Mantle than she has. And I know Robin will continue that fight on the council. Yeah, <laughs> will you share a few words? I've never been much for public speaking. Probably wasn't my best idea ever to go into politics. Hmm. Thank you so much. It's getting closer. Choosing me. You said you. The Marge is gonna get closer and closer until she I'm loses right when she's on you. stage. You've proven to me that as individuals, we are strong, but together we are unstoppable. So no matter what happens tonight. Win or lose, oh boy. we will continue to fight for our city. Because it is this city that brings us together. We're in the final minutes now, and it's looking to be a closer race than anticipated. Yeah, I'll say it's been going down for Don't her worry. slowly. It's in the back. Then up again, then down again. Probably just a goof. What's going on? Why won't you just talk to me? You know, I've never been really good with talking. I'll say. Then screw talking. Oh, fuck. What? They just dropped that right there? I was not expecting it there.
hacking away. Tyrion. <laughs> Always. Uh oh. Gonna be an assassination. <laughs> no, do something. Go. Sure, there's a rampage. What's going on over there? Stop him. He can't. It's kind of attached. This is Ace Operative Marrow requesting immediate assistance. Huntresses, to me! Come on, we've got to get you out of here. Ooh. Ah! Come on, you us can see in the dark, right? <laughs> Ooh. And the winner of the Atlas Council election is Jacques Schnee. Yep. Go figure. It's Ironwood's robot. Honey. And she's I... blamed, of course. I didn't. Oh, thank you, everyone. Thank you. It's all because of you. It's a new day in Atlas. We won. We did it. <sighs> what happened? It was Tyrion. Tyrion's Everything here. went to shit. Well, he was. He left. Stay. Get Penny out so that's a semblance. Now. Bidding for the canine. What's it with Penny and having these situations where you don't understand what you're not understanding what you're seeing? Fine work, Tyrion. I think we are done for tonight. Send that to Salem, so enjoy watching that. A surprise victory by SDC Mining Corporation CEO Jacques Schnee. Last minute voter turnout produced a dark horse victory for the dust industry leader. And now the writing begins. Penny, you need to get to Atlas. Backup's on the way. Penny. Graham. <sighs> We've got a long night ahead. So much for a night off. Yeah, go figure. You know, once you see that she's celebrating victory a little too soon, and you see the floor going behind her, you're kind of like, I know exactly where this is going, and it's not going to end pretty. Doesn't expect Tyrion to show up, though. I just thought it was going to be freaking, um, Waltz, bloody tampering with the votes or something, I don't know. I guess maybe he was doing that while Tyrion was causing the distraction or something like that. Mm -hmm. Ugh, everything went to crud. <laughs> I didn't expect the bloody Nora and Ren kiss, though. <laughs> I, I, okay, I figured they were building up to that, but I just didn't think they would just drop it in this episode of all times. Like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know when Blake and Yang are gonna kiss for fudge sakes. I know it's coming, I just don't know when. Don't spoil. If you do, shame on you. Yeah, someone will probably spoil it for me anyway. If this is Ruby. <laughs> and if you guys don't spoil it, my YouTube feed will. Bloody heathen. 
Anyway, uh, uh, never celebrate a victory before you've actually won. I said it like three times and I'm saying it again. And Penny has been accused for crimes she didn't commit. This reminds me when Pyrrha was accused. Well, no, this is actually when Yang was accused of breaking the guy's leg, even in attacking him, even though, no. But then again, both involve robot bits. <laughs> and both involve an arc that involves this Coliseum. What are the odds? Ah, damn, now we're gonna clear Penny's name. I'm gonna do that. I mean, surely I don't think that the Atlas Watt would actually do it. And then again, they know that Ironwood has a problem with the political candidate. I don't know. We all know that for, we got the worst case scenario, though, with the Schnee. Great. Uh, I don't know. Ready, just work this out as we go, I guess. Yeah. Cool stuff. Hey, at least. Uh, I hope that, at the very least, that uh, Letty, the girls are having enjoying their dance, and uh, Letty, John's enjoying his dates. As close as you ever gonna get with a date with, uh, you know, Weiss. I'm bad with dates. I'm gonna stop here just because it's getting worse and worse as I go on. But yeah, I'm gonna deal with the fall in the next episode. For now, riots.